All right, let's calculate some partial derivatives. This time we're looking at natural log of the cube root of x, y to the second power. So before we get into the partial derivatives, let's just rewrite this so we see exponents on the inside. That's gonna make our lives easier. So what I can do is I can first think instead of a cube root, we can rewrite that as a one third exponent. From here, what I'm gonna do is bring that exponent to the inside, multiplying each one of these exponents on the inside by the exponent from the outside, that one third. So this will give us natural log of x to the one third power multiplied by y to the two thirds power. Okay, from here, let's jump into the partial derivatives with respect to x. So in this case, what we wanna do is first just treat x as though it's our variable. Because we have a natural log on the outside, we're gonna use the chain rule to get going. So we're gonna go one over everything that was on the inside, that doesn't change for right now, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of this inner function. Well, remember we're treating x as though it's our variable. So we only have to take the derivative of x to the one third power. So that's gonna be bring the exponent down in front, the one third comes down, reduce the exponent by one. So one minus one or one third minus one, which would be one third minus three thirds makes negative two thirds. And then we'll bring our constant along. And I'm calling it a constant because of these partial derivatives, we're treating y and anything that doesn't have an x with it as though it's a constant. Uh, we could clean this up, getting rid of a negative exponent, maybe putting cube roots back involved, but that's a good answer as is. All right, next up, very similar when we're taking the partial derivative with respect to y. Going back to our original, we're gonna go one over everything that was on the inside of the natural log. So just copy all of that down but then we wanna multiply by the derivative of what's inside here, but with respect to y. So this constant, we're treating x to a, the power as a constant, will come along. And then we wanna multiply by the derivative of y to the two thirds. We're gonna bring the exponent down in front and then reduce the exponent by one. So two thirds minus one or two thirds minus three thirds makes negative one third for our new exponent. And there we have the partial derivative with respect to y. Just stay focused as you're doing these on which one we're treating as our variable and which one we're not. Everything else is gonna be treated like constants. All right, hope this helps. Good luck.